In today's show, we have a story on the counselor's couch. And a story on the soccer team. I'm Carson. And I'm Mike. And you know what you're watching. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform. Finding character. And giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Emery went and found out some important information from the counselors. Let's see what's happening. Hey Vikes, I'm back with another episode of Counselor's Couch and Mr. Alexander is going to give us some information. Okay, first thing is next week's a short week. I'm sure you guys are very excited about that, that you're going to have a four-day weekend. We will not have a four-day weekend, but I hope you have a good time on your four-day weekend. Um, seniors, make sure you're getting your student-led conference together. If you have any questions, the counselors are there to help you. If you're looking for some answers about the scholarship question, there are scholarships on the Seaman website, but also within your career cruising, if you would get in there, there's a lot of scholarship information there, as well as job information and um, a myriad of other things. They have a they have a, a resume template in career cruising that you can go in and use to make your resume. So a lot of information is in there for to help you with your student-led conference. Um, as far as events that are going on, okay, next, the rest of this month is free. Many schools across, many colleges across the state are having free application um, fees. Like, so if you apply to college, you don't have to pay the application fee. But really, you need to start applying. Most of the Regent schools deadlines is November 1st, and that's coming up fast. You only have about two weeks left to get that done. Um, and you also need to get the FAFSA done. So if that stresses you out with me saying that, on Monday during CALP time, the counselors will be in the library to answer any questions that you may have. If your friends keep asking you what you're going to do when you leave high school and you have no idea and you have so many questions running your head, come to the library, get some of those answers, those questions answered. Okay, so we'll be here for that. Other things that are going on next week, what do we have? Let me look. Um, so colleges visits, um, the Navy is going to be here during lunch on Monday the 21st and Bethany College will be here um, during CLP time. Um, on Wednesday the 23rd the Army will be here during lunch and will extend over into CLP time. Um, the week after on Monday the 28th Washburn University will be here during CLP time and on the 30th Emporia State will be here during lunch and KU will be here during CLP time. So make sure you take advantage when those reps come take advantage of their knowledge and asking them questions um, so that you can be most informed so you can figure out wh what you want to do when you leave Seaman high school. Um, remember the counselor Cove and the Career and, and Life Planning Center is always open for questions. We'd love for you guys to drop in um, and so we can help you with anything you, you need to do. So with that, we're out for this week's Counselor Couch. All right, thanks for the update. That's a lot of important information. Make sure to get done if you're interested. Now into your news. All Sharp students are invited to attend the Sharp Improv Show during CALP. The first 50 students to attend will receive a coupon for free ice cream. If you're an Interact member, make sure you register to your Schoology group as soon as possible. The access code is posted on Schoology. Juniors, there's an ACT survey on your 2021 Schoology page. Please complete this by November 1st. Fall Senior Night is next week. Any senior, athletes, or band students, please turn your information sheets into the office today. Today's early registration deadline for the annual Fall Into Fitness Fun Run. Sign up today on Schoology or drop your registration off at the SHS front office. That's all for your announcements. Now over to Ike with the sports. This chest is for trick-or-treat so kids can eat. You can donate your food that is non-perishable. 
The calc with the most donations by the end of the month gets an ice cream party. Sponsored by International Thespian Society. SHS Theater and FFA are hosting Haunted Trail on October 23rd. The kids trail is from 4 to 6 and it's $5. The adult trail is from 7 to 10 and is $6. You get $1 off your ticket with canned food donations. Ah! Some say e-cigarettes aren't dangerous. But science shows nicotine can harm teens developing brains. No matter how they're exposed. Let's do an experiment to find out. Here's a teen who won't be using e-cigarettes. Now we need one willing to risk their brain development. Anyone care to volunteer your kid? Anyone? Your kids are not an experiment. Protect them from e-cigarettes. Congratulations to the girls tennis players qualifying for state and the team taking second at regionals. Emma Biggs and Grace Unruh were doubles champions, Emma Dowd and Lauren Sweeney took third, and Elise Schreiner was the singles runner-up. They will be in Pittsburgh today competing at the state tennis meet. Wish them luck. Soccer's been having a good season. Here's how they've been doing. We caught up with the soccer team to see how their season's going. Um, pretty good. We're 7-2, and two, so... Um, we've got a couple huge wins over Manhattan and Shawnee Heights. Um, we've slowly been improving each week as we go. Um, kind of at a spot in our season right now where we've had some easier games. And we have a tough stretch coming up with the next four games, three or four being on the road. To have a successful season, the soccer team needs to have great team chemistry on and off the field. The team chemistry is actually pretty decent. When we want to get together and play, then we get together and play. So we're, if there's something that we disagree on, usually we get over it pretty quick Go and Viking. just Number move 21, on. So. Skyler Price. Um, right now we're, we're, we're tied, for, tied for first with, in the Centennial League. Um, we control kind of our own destiny with playing Emporia and Washburn Rule, if we can take care of business. In those two games, we give ourselves a chance to hold the crown for a year. The soccer team beat Emporia 2-1, to one, but sadly lost to Washburn 3-2 to two last night. Soccer lost last night to Washburn Roll 3-2. to two. They have a senior night next Thursday. Sophomores and seniors wanting to wrestle can sign up next week or contact Coach Kelly for available openings. Pink out is the theme for tonight's game at Junction City. Make sure to come out and support your Vikes. That's all we have for sports. Now over to Joshua with the weather. Good afternoon. We're getting ready for Friday night in the top city. And today we're looking at some strong southerly winds gusting between 40 and 45 miles per hour at times. So if you are heading out to Junction City, it is going to be very windy for at least the first half of the game. Then showers look to move in later on tonight before we catch a break for most of the weekend from any rain. But then another round later on Sunday. So let's time it out for you with our future radar. Here's the picture by 11 o'clock tonight. You can see some storms and mainly just showers in central Kansas. Then... Here's 4 a.m. You can see they've weakened some, but Topeka will probably get some rain around 4 a.m. So maybe if you're staying up late or up early tomorrow morning, there could be some rain around. Then by 8 o'clock, most of this is shifting out into Missouri. And for your Saturday, it's looking very nice. Check this out. Our temperatures in the 50s in the morning with lots of clouds and some rain early in the morning. Then topping out in the mid to upper 60s tomorrow with a lighter wind. It should make a great first half of the weekend. Sunday, more wind, but we should be dry until the evening hours when storms will develop in central Kansas ahead of a cold front, and that could provide a greater potential for some lightning and thunder Sunday evening. 
The severe weather risk, though, should stay down where you can see this darker green shade in southeastern Kansas, so we don't have to worry about any hail or high winds for the next few days. Here's a seven day forecast. You can see we are looking at that rain chance for tonight. Then we have more storms coming in late Sunday for that windy day on Monday. And then next week, looking a little bit cooler with highs back down into the upper 50s to mid 60s. Now, I can Carson, back to you. Thanks, Joshua. No, 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 thank you guys. You're the best. Oh, well, you're welcome, Josh. That's all for today. We'll catch you on the flip.